maybe I need to say this again, but I'm sorry for promoting gambling. Roblox is one of the most successful video games of all time, and with its popularity amongst children, there were bound to be scammers that would pop up to try to steal their money. Aruzan, better known as Uwu Cute Single, is a 17-year-old Roblox YouTuber and TikToker from Kazakhstan. Aru got her start as a content creator in March of 2021 by posting videos in her native language. These were all short Roblox memes that were unnoticed for the most part, with occasional success. However, things kicked off for her months after she started posting content to YouTube in July, as she rapidly grew to 115,000 subscribers by March of 2022. And less than a half a year later, she hit the 1 million sub mark. Everything seemed to be on the up and up for the young creator, but not everyone enjoyed the content she was producing. Aru's reputation within the Roblox community was less than favorable, as most viewers labeled her videos as cringe and were put off by them. But a much darker side of Uwu Cute Single would soon come out, which earned her the infamous title of one of Roblox's most unanimously hated YouTubers. It wouldn't be long until Aruzan started getting called out by many people in the community. This all started in January of 2023, when a Roblox trading news network account made a post accusing the young creator of scamming her fans. Popular Roblox YouTuber Uwu Cute Single with over 3 million subscribers has begun advertising Blocks Flip, the Roblox gambling website, to her audience of children within the age range of around 8 to 13 years old. These slight advertisements have been featured in multiple videos of hers. According to their website, Blocks Flip is the number one social casino for wagering Robux where players can gamble in-game currency, limited in-game items, or even real money. Understandably, the public was upset that Aru was promoting such a predatory site to her impressionable audience. Her actions were deemed morally reprehensible and illegal by many onlookers. On most gambling sites, users must be at least 21 years old to gain access. And as previously mentioned, most of Aru's fans are extremely young. But it's worth noting that Blocks Flip themselves have publicly stated that they are a quote, completely legal social casino. Yet, in the eyes of the Roblox YouTuber's critics, she was promoting underage gambling. And as can probably be expected, this resulted in Aruzan catching a lot of flack for this from the online community. That being said, others expressed their belief that she was not entirely at fault, since Blocks Flip is notoriously known for hiring many young and naive influencers to promote their questionable business. Uwu Cute Single is no exception, as she was 16 when she first advertised the website. While there were some who chose to forgive her on these grounds, many more felt that she should have done her due diligence and properly researched the people she was working with. Nonetheless, when she was first exposed, she decided to double down and post a tweet claiming that Blocks Flip wasn't a gambling site, a statement that made many believe the situation was heading into scam territory. At this time, she was also confronted by fellow Roblox creator Creekcraft, who contacted the YouTuber in Twitter DMs and asked her a few questions about the situation. She then replied, I've heard a lot about Blocks Flip ads from friends, or from Robloxers on TikTok who inserted small excerpts of Blocks Flip ads. After that, I applied and I was instantly accepted. No one forced me to sign anything, and there was no contracts as such. She also attached a screenshot to this message with a statement from Blocks Flip's site that says, We are not a gambling service. We do not take or place illegal bets, and we do not recommend or encourage illegal gambling. This claim comes comes down to a game of semantics of regulators' definition for non-currency gambling, rather than the fact that the site allowed you to gamble on things that had monetary value, even if it wasn't federally regulated. Aru ended her message to Creek by saying, All I want to say is that this situation is funny and I really enjoy this attention around me. I kinda love my haters. Aruzan seemingly ignored Creek's third question, where he asked her about how much she was paid for the sponsorship, as she didn't say how much much they compensated her. Regardless, once everything came crashing down, she would upload several apologies. The influencer first made a short to where she tried to appeal to emotions by claiming she wanted to help people with the money earned from the Blocks Flip ads. Aru even showed a video of starving African children she was supposedly helping. The thing is, this footage she used it didn't even belong to her. 
Instead, it was taken from a small charity page that didn't appear to have any relation to her account. As viewers came to this realization, Aruzan understood that her attempted apology had failed. She tried again a few days later with a more conventional approach. Aru uploaded a short to where she apologized for promoting Blocks Flip, but she had no luck with this one either. The audience quickly pointed out that it featured a sponsorship for the site despite the fact that she claimed to be sorry for ever working with them. This was obvious because it included a thank you message that said, Thank you Blocks Flip for sponsoring this video. At this point, the alleged scammer's reputation seemed irreparably tarnished, as the public concluded that she couldn't provide a sincere apology. But when everyone thought the situation couldn't get worse, it did. Months after the initial controversy, on July 30th, Aruzan uploaded a video titled, We Need to Talk. Here, Aruz said that she had stopped promoting Blocks Flip and apologized for glorifying gambling in the first place. So, y'all probably remember a time when I promoted a gambling site. I stopped. Maybe you didn't even check my YouTube channel vids. And maybe I need to say this again, but I'm sorry for promoting gambling. So, guys, there is no reason to hate me for past. The apology was widely panned, with 78,000 dislikes and an infinite amount of hate comments. Aru's attitude was generally seen as disingenuous, and viewers weren't buying it. At this moment, Aruzan had amassed sufficient infamy to attract the attention of Steak and Pack God, two YouTubers who often collaborate and are best known for roasting other creators. On August 4th, Steak released a video titled The End of Ubu Cute Single, where he took shots at Aru's practices and and enticed viewers to like the video by stating that he would have Pack God roast the disgraced Roblox creator if he hit 1,000 likes. Unsurprisingly, the video crushed the goal and reached over 15,000 thumbs up. The next day, Stake uploaded the promised follow-up, Pack God vs. Uwu Cute Single. Here, Stake joined a call with Aru and added someone who identified himself as Harold shortly after. However, this was actually Pack God, who entered the Discord undercover as an 18-year-old British man. Harold claimed he got hooked on Blocks Flip, developed a gambling addiction, and lost all his money. Eventually, Pack dropped the act and began hurling insults at his target. After this, the three creators spoke behind the scenes for an hour and settled the drama. They convinced her to take down the videos where she promoted the offending site, and she also told them that she would donate the money she had earned from the sponsorships. The YouTuber would then make a community post where she would say her piece on the situation one final time. I'm not gonna make any excuses why I did it, because there are no excuses for it. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm an idiot for promoting illegal sites to kids. I'm sorry if I offended, hurt, or disappointed anyone with all of this. I promise to be better, and I will be better. Thank you. The reception to this statement was divisive to say the least. Many continued to hate the young video maker, while others viewed this as her first genuine apology and accepted it. Since then, it appears Aruzan hasn't engaged in any more questionable acts, and it seems as though she has thoroughly learned her lesson. This is just one of many controversial Roblox players to plague the platform. We'll learn about others after a brief word from our sponsor. In today's video, we cover a lot of scammers, but do you know what isn't a scam? Our sponsor today, Cook Unity. I'm sure there are plenty of times when you're too busy to cook your own meal, but instead of going out to a takeout place where it's time consuming to drive there, it's expensive to purchase the food, and overall just unhealthy, you could use this service instead. With Cook Unity, you could have fresh, never frozen meals sent directly to your door each week that you could prepare within minutes. And not only is it faster than going through a drive-thru, it also tastes better and the macros are a lot better for you. How it works is extremely simple. You merely go to their website, decide what meals you want from their dozens of choices, and then they're delivered to your house. That's it. My favorite choices on the website are the Middle Eastern dishes, since I don't make enough of that kind of food to justify buying all those spices. So for example, today I got the crispy harissa lamb meatballs over yellow rice. And I could say with 100% honesty that it tasted better than a lot of the local places around me. And I'd also like to add that there are a lot of dietary choices on the website and you could cancel, pause, or restart your plan whenever you want. It's extremely flexible. So to try out Cook Unity for yourself, go to cookunity.com slash TGFM50 or click the link in the description below and use my code TGFM50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. 
Clown Chow, real name unknown, is a 15-year-old American Roblox YouTuber and TikToker who got started in 2022. He rapidly amassed a following of millions across both sites with only a few months of posting content. Like Uwu Cute Single, Chow created short Roblox videos that gained hundreds of thousands or even millions of views per upload. Clown Chow's career had reached heights he likely never thought it would, but behind the scenes, a scheme was brewing. While this kind of content attracted many critics, it also brought a large and easily exploitable audience of children, which is what outside forces hope to capitalize on. Everything started when the Roblox creator received an enticing email which read, Act now. We want to sponsor your channel. High payout per post. Ending soon. The email then stated, Hi, this is CEO Merck James from Arcade Prizes Company. This company helped create slash worked with some of the companies you may know listed below. The reason for the email today is something just came up. It is the most suitable sponsorship for your channel. It is a product and website all about the game slash games you play in your videos. What does the product do? It is a website all about Roblox, Minecraft, and Fortnite where users can enter to win cool prizes and read about anything gaming related. It is really cool stuff. It's super fun stuff. Everyone has a laugh and a really great time. Simply by promoting this product slash gaming site for 10 seconds on each and every video, we ensure you will earn upwards of 200 to 1400 per post, upfront before you even film the video itself. James ended the email with the intriguing line, Once you start working with us, you will feel and become a million bucks. As Clown was only 15, an offer like this was probably hard to resist, so they took the opportunity. James was paying Clown to pin comments on all their shorts with a dubious link that would send viewers to a survey they could complete to obtain a $100 Roblox gift card. Of course, many noticed that this website wasn't exactly as advertised. When users clicked the link, they would be asked to do multiple surveys until eventually finishing them all. Once this was complete, the page would ask them for their email. If a user were to provide it to them, they would be bombarded with endless scam messages. When this was uncovered, Clown began to face backlash from the community and was condemned for his actions. Even apart from scams, Chow was criticized for several other activities which some onlookers took objection to. For starters, he would frequently post shorts where he asked viewers to like and subscribe if they supported Jesus and comment God is amazing or other religious sentiments if they hated the devil. When he noticed that this actually worked in increasing his engagement, Clown would make another similar video to bait for interactions where he claimed that his sister had died. As it turns out, the woman he talked about in this upload wasn't his sister at all, and was instead another Roblox YouTuber named Rebooted Poppy. The icing on the cake was that she was also alive and well. This left the audience with a sour taste in their mouths, but they couldn't have predicted what would come next. In a now-deleted TikTok, Clown claimed to have been the victim of a kidnapping, accompanied by footage purporting to show the Roblox YouTuber trapped in the back of a van before fleeing into the woods. People were quick to point out how odd and inconsistent this situation was. Their main argument against its legitimacy was that one's first thought when in a situation like this would likely be to contact the authorities for help not to film a TikTok. They also mentioned how strange it was that Chow had made a Roblox video of himself dancing with his supposed kidnapper. Once this incident was exposed as fake by other TikTokers, Clown's image sank even further than ever before. But it would somehow sink even lower not long afterward, as an anonymous individual soon came forward with damning evidence against Clown. This accuser claimed that they were one of the influencer's former friends, and released various screenshots of inappropriate Discord messages that Clown had sent them. In these images, the Robloxer appeared to tell the alleged victim that he owned and sold explicit photographs of minors. These screenshots also seemed to show Clown sending the disturbing pictures and videos to his ex-friend. On September 21st, months after Chow was first exposed, his channel was terminated for violating YouTube's Terms of Service policies. Despite this, no legal actions have been filed for the severe crimes he was accused of. Since then, Clown Chow has been absent from the internet with no signs of a return anytime soon.
Island, or Mert James as he calls himself, is yet another Roblox YouTuber, who joined the platform on November 13th, 2018, and garnered 1.19 million subscribers since the start of his content creation journey. But unlike the previous two creators, James never made any proper content. Instead, his videos were all fake giveaways and scams, which was his channel's sole focus throughout his time on the platform. James would upload videos with titles like, Don't tell anyone about this working Robux glitch. This is actually insane. How to get free Robux. Or we can't forget, this secret promo code gives you Robux. How to get Robux. Unfortunately, kids would fall hook, line, and sinker for these scams and give the YouTuber their private details for him to do with as he pleased. But this wasn't enough to satisfy the money-crazed degenerates, so he began making community tab posts enticing young young gamers to take surveys to win Robux. If one were to fill out the survey, the website would prompt them to complete two offers to get their hard-earned prize. And this is where the real scam lay. For instance, one offer read, Superfuel is an all-natural energy drink. Enjoy a free sample kit of four flavors today. Just pay shipping. The shipping charge was $8, and once it was paid for, the site's owner could easily charge the victim's card as many times as they wanted. As it turned out, James was paying other Robloxers, including the previously discussed Clown Chow, to promote the websites. To make matters worse, the prolific scammer made multiple alt accounts to push the con further on the Island channel. Many pointed out that the most outlandish part about this was that James went through all this effort only to get paid $1 per survey. However, this enterprise would not last forever, and the the scheme ultimately backfired on him. On August 29th, YouTube would bring down the ban hammer and terminate James' channel, thus putting an end to his reign of scams. In December of 2020, a Roblox hacker group named the Bun Bun Girls started making the rounds online and swiftly earned themselves a level of notoriety unlike any other. It kicked off with a video posted on the 16th, in which the uploader claimed that the Bun Bun Girls had a malevolent scheme up their sleeves. They reportedly planned to take over the Roblox website and go to war with the Bacon Army, a faction of players who all use the default male skin in the game. The creator of the video also noted that this could all be a hoax since most Bun Bun girls were mobile players, and more importantly, they mentioned that the gang planned their attacks in French to avoid suspicion. Many onlookers did not view this upload as a credible threat, partly due to the fact that the hacker group in question had a mixed reputation within the community. A quick look into the Roblox wiki page reads, Many people say the Bun Bun Girls are bad, but the media also says that the Bun Bun Girls only hack scammers and rule breakers. Roblox Media says that it's best to take an alternate account to servers in which they are most active, or just don't play them at all. Bun Bun Girls are known to hack IP addresses and release them. It is best to bring a VPN and use an alt when playing those games. Allegedly, the gang's base of operation was on their Discord server, where they'd lure in potential victims through their Roblox games. Once they attracted their prey through promises of free Robux and other prizes, the girls would reportedly socially engineer users and engage in cookie logging. This practice is defined as a way for software to capture cookies on a browser and send them to a server for authentication. While this can be used positively, it can also be easily exploited by malicious actors and is a massive issue on Roblox. But as it would turn out, the Bun Bun Girls may not have been the elite hacker team they claim to be. On December 20th, the day that the group were supposed to wage their battle against the Bacon Army, YouTuber Real Roses Are Red uploaded a video where she claimed to expose them as frauds. She joined servers that the girls had planned to attack, and demonstrated that her account had not been compromised despite the fact that members of the gang were visibly present. With this, any fear that Roblox players may have had towards the Bun Bun Girls completely vanished. However, they weren't going down without a fight. A month later, the group came back with a vengeance, and alleged that they had hacked the YouTube account of a prominent Roblox creator named Burr. Once again, Roses stepped in to debunk this claim. I found out that he got his account back 10 minutes later. We're good. My channel did get hacked, but I dream speed ran the security check, reset my cookies, 
signed out on other devices and changed my password. But the girls remain determined to prove themselves as authentic hackers and announce their plans to go after other YouTubers for various reasons. To mention a few, they wanted to hack Flamingo for allegedly being racist, Shark Blocks for slander, some ordinary gamers for getting them banned, and Roses for calling them fake. At this point, the Bun Bun girls also took responsibility for hacking Kira Berry, another Robloxer. When she got her channel back though, Kira denied that the group had any involvement. The gang even claimed that Roblox was suing them for targeting these people. They also mentioned they had their Roblox and Discord accounts banned. They tried sharing a picture of a court summons they had received as proof of this, but it was quickly discovered that the photo had simply been taken from Google Images. This is when their credibility was completely shattered. Even though they attempted to keep their former reputation alive, nobody in the Roblox community community took the Bun Bun Girl seriously afterward. The once infamous hacking group was now viewed as nothing more than a bunch of young tryhards desperately seeking clout. After trying and failing to make people fear them again, the girls eventually fled the internet, never to be seen again. So there you have a few stories of Roblox's most notorious scammers, and if you have a kid, you should definitely watch out what they're doing on that game. And with that thought, I think I'll end the video here. So until next time, thanks for watching.